Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Factory Town Idle. So I'm actually not going to go back to my old save file, and we're going to call this one, um, Wabaland. Perfect. Close enough. So, I could continue where I left off. Oh boy. Uh, give me a second, I'm actually going to need my auto-clicker on this one. So, you might be wondering why I'm starting over if you caught my previous coverage for this game. That's because it's actually gotten some pretty major updates since I last played, and I'd rather start fresh. Because uh, some of them were a little, I don't want to say confounding, but uh, he, he overall, uh, the developer overhauled the entire system of how this game handles, uh, I'm just going to queue up 10 of these. The developer overhauled how this game handles uh, prestiging. You no longer prestige, your town does not reset, as it was mostly a just giant pointless waste of time. Uh, which I actually kind of agree with, I think prestiging is kind of boring and meaningless. And doesn't really, doesn't really make the game any better in almost any of these games. Uh, let's see, so let's get some lumber mills. We might as well make five of them. I'll run out of trees at some point, but still. I don't know if this is going to be the save file I use going forward. I don't even know what I'm going to do. What I want to do eventually is actually get up to the point where I am... Uh, let's see. I want to get up to the point where... I'm doing incremental soup on a weekly basis. I mentioned this last time, but I think I'd like to bring that back on a more long-term basis, uh, just as a kind of once a week show. There's only so many games that I can cover. Let's see, that's trees. Make as many planks as we possibly can. I guess I could make some more of these. Okay, town level two, so we've just gotta get a bunch of EXP. I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to do that. I guess it's produced the planks. I see. Oh, and this will get us to the general store. There we go. Yeah, I, I just wanted to start fresh. I tried starting uh, this video on a higher tier and I was just immediately thrown thrown off because the whole trading system has changed dramatically. And it was messing with me. Uh, let's see. Do you want to build a couple of these? Let's go up to like five. And let's start selling both. Oh, good. Looks like we've got some more storage too. It looks like we're going to need a fair bit more. Well, we are actually making the lumber mills. I think we're just very low on lumber for a moment. But this will get us up to level two. And then hopefully it'll get us some more things. I might as well just level up my clicking power like crazy. While we have nothing else going on. Because it's not like I can manually craft. Let's see. Let's put it there. Uh, let's see, what else are we waiting on? I'm pretty sure the speed controls no longer work. Dang. I have a video from the from a previous patch, effectively, that I can't put out. I could, but like the whole game's changed in a lot of different ways. It's still very much similar, but there there will be those like slight slight oddities that people might be like, wait, this is different. Where'd this come from? And I don't want to have to like explain. It, the game is going to change, I'm sure, between now and, like, even a month from now, because I think this game's launching in early access. By the way, I should probably mention this game's, like, five bucks. So if you're at all a fan of incremental games, highly recommend checking this one out. Yep, so it's going to be in early access for who knows how long. But honestly, uh, Eric has done a great job with Factory Town and then this one. And Robo, uh, Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball uh, is his first game that he ever made. Uh, I can't, I cannot believe that this is actually probably one of the developers I've been, uh, ma making videos on his works for the longest amount of time, just in terms of, like, longevity. I think that's actually kind of cool from my perspective. I don't know if everybody else will appreciate that, but from where, like, I'm at as a person, I, I've been doing this for 10 years and it's really weird to me in certain cases uh just all the different aspects oh right oh no we don't have quite enough we got to get one more if it'll uh, actually let me start spending these which is unfortunate because the perk i want is like pretty cheap i think i'm not actually sure so what are we missing i mean really i guess the answer is oh build 15 houses and we might as well focus on each of these quests I guess the more houses we have, the 
more things we're going to need to sell to them. Town level 3, menu is perks. Got it. Alright, so now I've got 11. I can spend it on whatever I want. I think we want to do skill gain speed and town EXP boost, as both of those are our two primary bottlenecks at the moment. Eventually, we're going to want to scale it out to other things, but that's good enough. Hopefully, we get research soon. Oh, there we are. So now we can build schools. Okay, menu research. We want to get the workshop. I guess I should build a couple of schools. Okay, I've got a pretty balanced setup here. Could do more, but I don't think I need to. I need a thousand yellow coins, but I need a lot of other stuff. We want the workshop hardware store and the red coins kind of ASAP, as those are going to be supremely helpful. We have a lot of lands, so I don't want to build too many stockpiles. Actually, it looks like our biggest limitation right now is money. Oh, well, that's slightly unfortunate then. I mean, at least planks sell for a fair bit. Oh, there's our yellow coins. Can I increase my... No, I cannot. I can do idle gain, natural resource capacity. Neither one of those is going to be that helpful at the moment. Okay. Yeah, I've got those extra houses, but until we have more income... Oh, we're out of planks again. I think I'll stop building houses for a little while. Because that's going to bankrupt us plank-wise. As that drain is uh, pretty steep. And I kind of need planks as far as money goes. Alright. Speed this along. I think I'm going to try and go out of my way. Oop. I guess let's go back to crafting. I can make more of these. I have functionally infinite wood. There's no reason not to. But we should probably get the water bucket next. Yeah, I'll get the water bucket as well. And we can pretty much pay for both of these. I think my clicking power is so high that, yeah, we just get a ton. So I don't need to auto-click anymore. Or, alternatively, we just level it up to the point where... Uh, I can click anything and fill out a full bar, because as far as I know, clicking power actually carries over from e one region to the next. Which is super nice. Work that. So, workshop, hardware store, red coins, 10 research, and town level 4. And that'll get us crops. Like, once we start getting a couple of these things, this will go much, much faster. Uh, let's see, crafting. So, we need a couple of workshops. I think six. Six has been the sweet spot from what I can tell. Okay, we also have grain, which we can now sell. So we are going to need the uh, food market before I can actually do that. There it is. I'll just go for five. Okay, so we're researching water at the moment. I think that's kind of where we want to stop. Oh, unless I needed... Oh, no, I don't. Because, yeah, we can sell grain here. It's only worth one. Like, money-wise, it's still not, not much of a winner. What's my current money drain? Is it because I'm making... Oh, it's because I'm making the workshop and the food markets. Those are kind of expensive. However... Let's see, I think I'll just leave those as is. I know it seems silly for me to be... Oh, you know what? I should probably have... Some people harvesting each of these. Except for stone. Because, yeah, I might as well make that drain slightly less problematic. I like to be at a nice, even, um, balance, I guess. Okay, so if I go to markets... Oh, do we need... Oh, we haven't finished researching water. So that should give us forestry, but it should also give us something new that I can sell. 
There we go. Because, yeah, it's worth a little bit of EXP. It's worth a little bit of money. And that's all I could kind of ask for in this situation. Okay, we have some of these. I think I'm going to keep going for that skill boost, as that's a little bit more helpful. Okay, and I'm starting to get some money. So what do we want to do? Food mill? Yeah. I think food mill is the next thing. And they'll give us cultivation. Ah, farming might not be a bad move. Because what I want to do is kind of expand out a lot of these so we can start making enough money. Uh, let's see. Lastly, research. A thousand. Oof. Okay, never mind. I was going to specifically try and get the hardware store so we can start getting red coins because we're going to need those, but not at the moment. Because let's just go back to hyper harvesting everything. Getting each of these up to like level 10 doesn't seem like the worst idea ever. Mostly what I want to do though is get up to level 10 if I can so we can have a second town going in parallel. Because if I can have two two towns going simultaneously, uh, I'm going to be in a much better spot. I wish I hadn't claimed my reward on the other uh, on my other save file. I think I did. Yeah, this is... It's a little slow. We'll want probably some more houses at some point. So what else do we have? Markets are looking great. We don't have any other resources we can sell. I guess, kind of foolishly, I'm going to make a couple of stockpiles. I don't want to do too many. Because we don't quite have the, the funding for it. But that gets us a smidge of EXP. Boy, it is not much. At least farming will let us get kind of in the... It'll let us get closer to selling a bunch of food really fast. Okay. Or maybe not? I'll build a farm. But we might not actually know how to do that yet. I check locks. Where's cultivate? Well, we built the farm. That gets us a quest coin. Unless the cultivate are vestigial. Ah, I gotta be level 8 for both of these. That's our problem. So in that case, we actually want that food mill. Let's throw all available resources into speeding that along. Because the food mill lets us make animal feed and a couple other things. This will just let us grow grain faster so I can harvest more of it. Which is going to be necessary. Oh, uh, let's see. Workshop. No, that produces those. General store. No, we have those. Hardware store. Okay, so we've got the food mill. Do we need anything else? We might as well start researching the animal feed as well. It's going to cost us a little bit of money, but we can start selling flour. Well, we have to start crafting flour, which means I need several food mills. Luckily, they don't really cost much. They will eventually. Okay, we got the food mill. Ah, town level 6 will get us the natural resource for apples. Yeah, first time I played this, I was very lost. Now I actually really know what I'm doing. It's easier than I thought. I mean, it was easy enough at the time. Well, I wasn't able to min-max. And now I'm min-maxing pretty well. So flowers worth four, and we're at a nice kind of... Eh, we're almost comfortable there. We could use at least one more of these. And as this levels up its skill, it should go faster, so we shouldn't have to worry about it having too much... Yeah, it's currently not quite delivering. Okay, we also have this. Idle gain, natural resource capacity. Which is fine, but I don't really need that. And I want to save my... I want to save my stuff for probably more skill gain more than anything else. Research efficiency isn't that important. Workers per house is useful. Like, it, truly, it's... Town EXP boost, maybe more starting land and skill gain and speed. Those are the only ones that I actually care for at the moment. 
So here's the next question. Do we want to speed up the hardware store? I have the money. It's not going to bankrupt me. And we're not going to run out of wheels or shovels anytime soon. Okay, and now our flower, uh, we are selling that at 107%. So we're like slightly above the curve, but that's all we need. And eventually I'll probably have a couple more schools to research this stuff faster. Uh, let's see, well, we want paper. Paper would get us books, but I think we're going to want to get animal feed. So we can get pat. Oh wait, no, we've already got animal feed on the way. I think we'll just finish this and then I will... Uh, I'll throw it all... We'll, we'll finish the hardware store and I'll throw it all into animal feed. Because the sooner we get that, the better. Because again, I'm not going to run out of money that fast. So I want to do four? I don't know how many we need. But this will start getting us some red coins. And is also worth a decent amount of EXP. And yeah, it looks like we only needed a couple of these. Perfect. We're just short of actually regaining our amount of wood wheels here. But I think as we get more skill, uh, as we get more skills, I think it'll go fast. Uh, let's see, research. So we've got the pasture. Do we want to do paper though? Let's sidestep for paper. It's quick. And that's another thing that's pretty easy to easy to snag. Plus, we've got a quest for reach level 5 in paper. Forestry will be nice if I want to harvest wood more. But since I'm in a very good position, so I with the auto-clicking, we don't need to worry about it. A couple more quest coins. I think I'm still going to... I think we might want, want the town EXP boost more than anything else. Hopefully I have enough resources to make all five of these. We might run out. Events, eventually once we get the upgrades with the red coins, then we'll be in a fine position there. It's probably under research. If I check my buildings, good. The food, food mills aren't hugely expensive. What are we looking at? Animal feed. We're doing fine. Markets. Looks like three is good enough, at least for now. Eventually, we'll probably need some more. And animal feed is admittedly only worth two coins, but we're at least nice and stable at the moment. What do we do next? Build a pasture. Do we... No, we don't have that yet. So we'll start working on that. And then we have apples. Top off. Okay, back to markets. Selling apples, but it looks like we're going to need a couple more food markets. There we go. Let's put one more into paper. Money-wise, actually, we're sitting at a positive now. We might want to pick some of these low-hanging fruits. Eh, let's do Corian Forestry next. Just to get those last couple of researches done, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, harvesting, yeah, we just don't have enough people on these. Uh, take two of these off, even if it's going to mess with my drain. Actually, we probably don't need that many, because as that gets more skills, that'll just kind of balance out. What I want to do is level my cultivation skills, well, my harvesting skills, slowly. Okay, flowers on its way. Paper is done. Bookstore. Oh, let's see, it allows me to sell books. Study lets me make... Increases the number of active crafting recipes per study. I know one of these lets me make books. This is not it. I'm going to need a couple of... Ooh. 
Okay, I guess I'm just gonna sidestep paper for the time being. We're still working on pasture. But I'll put one into quarry for the time being. Yeah, level five in paper. Uh, how are we doing on lumber? That's... or planks? That's probably fine. Because yeah, we don't have the ability to make... Stone, uh, stone blocks yet. And we're kind of stuck until we hit that point. Let's see, anything else? And we're level six. Yeah, I think I'm going to be able to surpass where I'd, I was at last time. Last time, I really, truly had no idea how to balance anything, and, like, all these mechanics didn't make any sense to me. Now I'm just like, yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing. Hopefully it kind of reads from your guys' perspective. I think it, I think it should. I hope. Let's see. Oh, we don't we don't need nearly as many people harvesting water. I guess we'll just leave it at three. Uh, let's see. Can't do more on stone. I guess I'll put one more on grain. Yeah, I need more people. Well, let's get the uh, town EXP boost. And then we might want to start saving up for more wor workers per house. I need these faster. The bookstore is, but we don't have a whole lot of paper. Yet. Probably also remember to just come back in and grab these every once in a while. So, quarry is done. Pasture is still taking some time. Let's make let's make it go faster, because the sooner we get that pasture, the sooner we open up quite a lot of things. Thousand flower. Nah, I'm only at three. Yeah, I've got a lot of oh no, I can't make any more schools even if I wanted to. Alright, so there's our quarry. So we now have prospecting, which means I could get stone back if it was actually running low. I am not. I guess I might as well level this up. Eventually, this might get me some kind of skill. Just getting everything up to, like, round, round numbers. 10, 5, uh, 10, 15, 5, 10, 15, stuff like that. I think it's me perks. But we have to finish this, because the upgrades menu is going to be nice. So I need this. Alright, so we now have the pasture, and what do we do? Let's actually probably pour all into masonry, because that's one of our big bottlenecks. Go back to this, and good. I can make a pasture. I'll build like three. Because now we need a lot of things. I That just opened up a whole lot of quests for me. Crafting! Start making eggs. Unfortunately, my people are going to be kind of unhappy as a result of this, but... Eh. Is what it is. Because this will get us way more money. Let's see, I should have at least one more? No. We need at least four. Next town level up. Let's get some more, uh... Do we get some more workers per house? No, I think I'm going to keep going for that skill gain. Because I think the upgrades are going to handle at least a number of these things. Oops. And I'm running out of wood. Complete that. Okay, so now we have the upgrades menu. Quest coins. We also get a whole bunch of things. So if we go here, skill gain speed, upgrade that. Research speed, cheaper houses, workers per house, exploration... Uh, let's see, wood harvesting speed. And we need those capacity upgrades. Okay, now we have another cheaper houses upgrade, but I can't get, th get to that at the moment. But, now we have way more room to sell these things. I don't have enough milk. Uh, probably because I'm not harvesting it. It's fine. Yeah, I need that lumber mill. Storage capacity, if I can... If I can get it. Which one of those would do it? 10 upgrades gets me some points. 
wool gets me wool cloth. Yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of recipes for this. Uh, level 15 gets me extra harvesting, which would be kind of nice. Ah, uh, 30 skill levels of workshop, 20 skill, aha. Uh -huh. So if we go back to crafting, where are we at at planks? Because I need to level my paper harder. Okay, more skill gain speed. Uh, unfortunately, that's kind of expensive. Yeah, we don't have we don't have the money for it yet. Why don't we start researching forestry and also remember to continuously grab these things. Speaking of buildings, well, I could get houses. How are we looking at harvesting? I'm just going to put them all into grain for the time being. And I guess build like three farms. Three more farms. Because we're going to run out of each and every one of these things. Okay, quest coin, research library, recipe book. Okay, hardware store market capacity, but that's not that helpful. Hearth is going to require things that I cannot do. Stonemason. Let's build four of them. And what do we have now? Something. I wish it would actually tell me what quest I completed. I should probably just take a look. Let's just go all in on forestry, get that done. Uh, oh, and we can actually start making books. So in retrospect, oh no, we don't have a workshop upgrade yet. Probably because I need one of these. If I check markets, where are we at on wheels? Actually, yeah, no. Looks like I'm going to need another workshop. We'll do two. All right, that's good. And we just finished forestry, so we can fix our tree issue. Let's do... Do we want to do bookstore next? It's going to cost me some paper. I guess I have to. Before we get everything else set up. Okay, we'll start making one book. Unfortunately, my paper situation is looking pretty bad. I think that research is just going to slightly bankrupt me in that regard. Let's see, crafting wise, nope, we don't have any upgrades on the pasture. I just want to get that hearth out so we have the extra money. Let's see, 15 and harvesting water. Sure. Let's just get some of these low hanging fruit. Because if I can get each of these up to 15, I think it just gets me another upgrade. But at least I don't have to think about it because getting to 20 is a pain. A pain that I don't want to do. Oh, and increasing those actually increases our, our harvesting speed for like outside of that. Ooh, useful. So what else can we get? Five stockpiles. That shouldn't co cost me too much. Yeah, I got I got the resources for it and and then some. Let's grab that skill gain speed. It just doesn't tell you what quest is complete. So there's our stockpile, so that gets us even more. Yeah, because I want that workshop food mill and lumber production skill upgrade. Okay, so that gets us a recipe for wool? I don't think we can do anything with it at the moment. And I guess we need another pasture. This is starting to fall apart. Unsurprisingly. How are we doing on animal feed? No, we're still actually running a positive there. I was expecting I'd run out, but... I am not. 
What do we do now? I guess grab something else. No, I'm going to wait. We want to get that skill gain speed. Okay, so we now have beef. We now have butter. But like I said, some of these are going to become kind of prohibitive in the worst kind of way. Okay, so we have the book bookstore. We have the hearth. That's fine. We'll run out, but we won't run out that fast. And then we should probably get the refined plant. Oh, that's expensive. I guess stuff like apple cultivation and the well are almost going to be more practical for me. Okay, good. We are cultivating and gaining skill in cultivation. Ooh. At some point, once we have the requisite upgrades, this is going to get a little easier. Stockpile storage. Sure. Because we don't need cheaper houses. I don't know even about hardware store. And the main problem is, is supply more than anything else. And we seem to be running low on planks, unsurprisingly. On the flip side, if I look at this, yeah, it's, we're almost there. Because if I can get this, there it is. So lumber mill production capacity. Oh, that's super nice. Because now we can go back to that and it's effectively doubled. Let's get my planks back up into the positives. And where's my paper at? Paper's looking good. Probably something like that. It'll hurt my wood quantity. And now we've got the upgrade for the workshop as well. So I have to get 3,000 red coins for that. That's a little harder. I also don't think we need it quite as much. There we go. So now we're selling some books. I think the book crafting skill is going to catch up. It might bottom out, but it's fine. There's the there's the pasture upgrade. That's the one we need. 7.5 thousand. Oh boy, I need some red coins. We gotta figure out what makes me those. Oh, we can start making some cotton. I guess if we go back to markets, at the very least we can sell cotton. Uh, are we making fertilizer? Looks like we are. I'm going to need some general store upgrades, but I don't think we have that. So let's figure out where we're at on some of these. Going to need probably a lot more pastures. Let's just get 10. We're going to need it. No, no sense waiting. Level 5 in beef gets us leather. Oh, I was going to build a hearth. We don't know how to make that yet. There we go. Because that's something else I can sell. There's also the tailor. Yeah. Tailor's going to be a bit of a financial drain, but it'll pay for itself. And as long as it's one of the base raw resources, like cotton, I can just do it. There's nothing wrong with it. I almost kind of wish I could queue some things up here. Because we don't have to wait for anything to process. I can just come along and hit the button. Ooh, my... Planks, we are burning those. Uh, let's get like two hearths. I don't think we need that many. And they'll bottom out after a certain point. There's the food market upgrade. Our food mill production. Unfortunately, we need the pasture production. Probably first. We need both of them. We need both of them so bad. Okay, back to markets, because I think I can sell... Oh, can I not sell energy? I was hoping I could sell fire. But, is what it is. Uh, let's see. Sell stone bricks, but we need some more general stores. 
Yeah, it's fine. I'll just build a couple of those. Also now harvest the cot this plant. I'll start working on it. We don't need too much. Oh, the skill. The skill is the same. So every time I level this up, that actually speeds it up. Yeah, let's get it up to 15 at the very least. We are very much not at a stable gain here, but I'm not expecting to get that until we hit level 10 and start getting some prestige levels. Let's get some more, uh, some more workers per house at this point. Upgrades are cheaper. That'd be nice. Yeah, that at least gets me four more workers. So let's, um... Ah, who am I kidding? Dump them into trees. Because I have this whole forester that I should probably be, you know, leveling up and using. Okay, so what else do we got here? Can make a library. No. Guess let's just work on those handful of basics. Anything else here? Yes, thousand stone brick. I don't think that actually gets us anything fancy, but it's there. But yeah, until I until I get that pasture production, we're out of luck. Well, here's the thing: we can make tailors. That's something useful. I'm curious about if I go to the market. Oh, we can't we can't sell that stuff yet. We need a clothing store. All right, fair enough. Am I I am producing wool. Not much of it. But I am in fact making it. So if I take a look at this, oh, we actually also have more pasture. Let's at least make sure we're not running out of the, th the things that we're currently selling. And make sure we're selling at least one of everything. At least. Oh, looks like I'll need hardware stores. But we do have the hardware store capacity. We'll, we'll just snag that. Workshop capacity 3,000. Nope, can't do it. I can just get two more hardware stores. Ooh, that is hard on my plank supply. Burns it out in no time flat. Oh well. Anything else? We're getting, we're getting to level nine. Unfortunately, it feels like it slowed down a little bit. Dang. Uh, craft some more beef. What are we doing on animal feed? Not great. General store capacity upgrade. Yeah, it's those dang red coins. But, if we go back to the markets, uh, these are only means of getting red coins, but at least we can sell more, slightly more of them. Okay, beef is a problem, but at least we can sell a little bit more of that. Fertilizer we're capped out on. We're actually getting kind of close to stability here. What we need is the pasture production. And the food mill production. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, which do I go for first? Oh, well, there's the forester upgrade. Because this is cap. Oh, well, it's capped out because I'm out of wheat. 1.6. Actually, if we go back to crafting, take three of those out. There. Okay. So we're no longer losing that, at least. Apple cul cultivation, cotton cultivation, and the well. I don't think we actually care about those at the moment, but we will. Uh, let's start researching this. 
We don't actually have a whole lot of cloth yet. That's nah, fine. What else do we research? Let's get the refined planks. Because I know we're going to need those for a couple of upgrades. Okay, food market. I'm going above and beyond where I was at the last time I got got to this point in the game. It's kind of neat, actually, going into going into these games and having that experience of... Uh, let's see, let's get a couple more foresters, seeing as we're running out of trees very slowly. But having that experience of... You know, it's not just meta progression that is driving me forward here. That actually a decent chunk of it is knowledge. Uh, I don't know if exploration was really worth investing in, but that's fine. We also have cloaks, but I'm going to need leather before I can do any of that. I guess I'll start producing some leather very slowly. I guess that's not going to gain any skill points until I start dipping it down. Alright, cool. So we are gaining that. We are running out of water, though. Oh, wells automatically produce water. Oh, wait. They automatically produce water? Huh. That's neat. Okay, prospecting. I guess I should probably start investing in that, seeing as we're running out of stone very slowly. Almost not at all. Okay, so we do have the reservoir. And eh, now these are going fine. How's my market doing? Badly. For intensely obvious reasons. I guess I can sell some more apples here. Oh boy, my food, food market has some space. Let's take a look at this, though. Let's take a look at animal products. We're also going to need some more beef. I just want to get most of these staple. Oh, that's leather. Now we need that. Okay, animal products still low on fertilizer. There we go. I just want to keep them stable, even if we're not selling everything at 100% yet. At least being stable is useful. That's expensive. This is 10, 10k golden coins. That's a little easier to achieve. Hey, town level 9. The town level 10 will let me start prestiging. I don't know at what point I actually get the ability to start scaling out to other locations. Sooner than later, I hope. Uh, let's see. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's close out of that, that for a second. Yeah, the one thing that's going to wreck me is if I get complacent here. I don't know, maybe maybe the extra town EXP? Because I'm pretty hard locked on what I can do until I can get that extra EXP. So if I go back to crafting, we need more cloth. Oh, and we're running out of animal feed again. I need 4k. 4k red coins if I specifically want to get the food mill production. Oh. Tree cultivation speed. And because the only thing I have to sell at the moment is red coin stuff. It's a little tough. Oh, but we're about to get the uh, clothing store. So if I go to market, it's clothing store. Oh, sweet. That's ex that's going to save me so much trouble. Let's just make eight of them. And not run out of cloth. I guess I'll need bunch of those is going to hurt my plank supply and my stone brick supply. It's going to hurt my everything supply. 
food mail 4k though and eh, we're getting close and with the with the tailor we should be well we can sell wool at the very least and cotton cloth and cloaks Ooh, cuz yeah that's worth 20 I just have to make sure I don't run out. We also can make shirts now. Yeah, look at that red coin go up. Okay, so we need the food mill upgrade before anything else. Because now I can actually get back on track for animal feed. Okay, let's go back here. We're going to need more leather. And we're going to need more wool. What are we building that's taking forever? The tailors and those extra clothing stores. However, this should be the last of the clothing stores we need. And then it'll just be tailors the entire way down. How are we looking? Yeah, I'm going to try and boost these. We should have the supply for it at this point. Unless grain bottoms out. That causes problems whenever that happens. So let's take a look at these. We could use some more milk, and we definitely need more beef. Oh, we actually hit the upper limit on pastures. Oof. Yeah, what's the pasture upgrade? 75,000! Oh boy! Oh boy howdy! I don't think I'm getting that anytime soon. At least I could could afford this eventually. Are we researching or building something using all of this? What is that drain? I guess the real answer is just a utter lack of grain. Yeah, do I get the bakery as well? Yeah, we got the we got the flour for it. We're doing on books, barely. Library just gets us storage for some things. Barrel gets some storage for things. And then we have the reservoir. All right, so I skipped ahead a little bit. We now have town perks A and we have a prestige point. And we're about to get another actually, sick. We've also got pants. This is spiraled wildly out of control as I'm starting to get like clothing stores and bakeries and stuff. And we still haven't found the world yet. Oh, town level 12, eesh. Let's get the town EXP boost in that case, because that's going to get us extra prestige points, and that's going to be equally helpful, kind of in its own way. Uh, let's go for the tailor production capacity, I think. Uh, let's see. Speed boost provided by the crafting skill. Oh, there's effects beyond that. And we haven't even looked into automation yet. I don't even know how that functions, but... I'm just going to keep pushing it. Let's see. Uh, gosh, do I even? I don't think I have the resources for this. I mean, we are losing 50 wheat a second. We just don't quite have these uh, storage for that. Let's get the... Uh, this will be expensive, but let's let's get the 25 houses that we need. And it wants me to be producing each of these. Well, I guess let's go up to five. Oh, we're just bottlenecking on resources. Oh! Oh, joy! Well, at least we got this. Crafting speed, research speed, crop harvesting speed, mineral harvesting speed, cultivation, sell value, but that's just money. Construction cost, speed, land capacity. Ooh. I'm just going to go for the crafting speed. Harvesting might have been the better idea. Well, I just realized I have like 11 spare workers and I'm going to pump them all into grain. 
Oh, that's bad. Even at full tilt, they are not keeping up. Let's see. Crane cultivation. Nope. Cannot afford that. Even our water harvesting has actually gotten kind of bad. Are we even harvesting water? We are, but not much. How the heck did I do this? Last time I played this, I had like a, a much more like calm, automated setup. And uh, yeah, that's... Did, that's gone. Let's see, how many houses do I need next? Because it's probably something silly like 50. 30 houses. Oh, okay, that's easier. They're expensive, but they're not like heinously so. I was hoping I'd, get it, I'd be able to get up to the world so we could actually start working on another town. Even if this one is uh, irrevocably scuffed for a while. Yeah, let's balance everything else out. Oh, do we not have the lumber mill? We do not have the lumber mill upgrade. Ooh. Do I need to have my lumber mill at? We gotta be close. I'm not actually seeing anything for the lumber mill upgrades. Oh, 60 across the board on each. I have to make sure I don't run out of each of these, otherwise my whole th whole thing kind of falls apart. Oh, we're not producing hats or pants. Guess I might as well produce both. Unfortunately, there's a very real possibility we will not have enough. Let's take a look at our cloth for a second more. main issue seems to be we need more leather and that is not something I can necessarily cope with I'll have some more people what do we do we are running out of grain oh boy howdy we are running out of grain and there's not much I can do about it I mean, keep clicking. Here's the thing. I could also just let it recover by just auto-clicking it for a while, because grain is the only thing that we're... No, there's a lot of things that we are just absolutely churning out. Uh, let's see. Cotton harvesting speed, grain speed, but that's expensive. Cheaper houses. It would be nice, but I don't care too much. Well, at least we're back in the positives on apples. Kind of. Let's see. No, I don't have any more prestige points. Yeah, would I actually want to look into crop harvesting speed instead? 50% over the crafting speed? Yeah, why don't we do that? Because that gets us some stability. We'll have to look into cultivation. Do we actually have... Oh, grain cultivation speed. Requires a lot, though. And, yeah, I think I just need a lot of prestige points, which is going to be much easier once we have a different town. Because once we have two towns, we just get a bunch of prestige points that we can just spend wherever. At least we get the farm production capacity. I just don't have enough red coins. Let's take a look at the market. What am I selling? What am I not selling? Eh, they're going. Yeah, what we need is the clothing stores to sell better. But for that, we need our animal products to not be just doomed. Oh, hey, my crop production is looking great. The only problem is my uh, grain cultivation is terribly, terribly bad. I guess I'll save up the, uh, save up for the farm production. That grain's gonna catch back up again. 
Oh, good. We don't actually have to worry about running out of wells. Oh, it's because the wells are giving me natural resource production. Yeah, no, I think we pretty much are just going to have to get this farm as soon as we cross this threshold. It's fine. So if we go back here... Grain! Still in the negatives. But it could be worse. At least I can just kind of sit here and let it build back up again. Because the only thing we really run out of is grain. So I could I could actually just sit here for a long time and just let it stack. We'd run out of water, though. Turns out it costs a lot of water to, uh, to water all these crops. Is there anything that I could grab that isn't too expensive? Yeah. Kinda. Let's go crafting. Because we might as well get those back up to speed. Okay, I think that gets us a tailor capacity. It's good. Running out of water again. Ooh. And we don't have enough workers. We've all we're almost there on in terms of grain. Which is still wild to me that we're not actually doing better. I mean, get one more of these. Oh, yeah, one more crop harvesting. Oh, but I'm going to need a lot of prestige points for that one. Yeah, it's probably worth it. <sighs> Crafting. Do we just start making these regardless? I think we do. We're going to... It's going to slow some of my sales in those regards, but we do need to make them for five points. Oh, we also don't have any fish. I don't think we can get fish here. So I guess the real trick would be probably look into, looking into a lot of research. Because one of these is going to get me automation and some other things. Okay, we are making hats. Hats are fine. Leather, not so fine. This is one. Extra skills of the lumber mill. Hey, that's nice. Kind of expensive, but it's fine. So if I pop up here and take a look at it, it's actually, it's going. I just want to be in a position where we're not running out of those. Ought to actually be in a situation where I'm not... Uh, we need more cultivation. What the forester? Tree cultivation speed. 15,000 red coins. Ooh, boy. I almost wish I... Well, actually, I think going forward past this point, I might actually just switch back to my old old save file. So if we save and quit out. Because uh, here's the thing. This one's just a little further. Not, like, hugely so. In fact, actually, in certain regards, it's back. No, 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 no. Nah, I should, I should play on my blend. The other one's kind of scuffed because it was un unbalanced prior to launch. Uh, this is a much more... Uh, I'm going to say painful growth, but in doing so, it almost becomes more satisfying. I know it's pride and accomplishment and all of that EA marketing junk, but it does... It is kind of true. It's just also kind of a pain in the butt. I think what we want to grab is... Whenever I get those extra points, natural resource regeneration. Because I think at this point we're going to desperately need it. And then some more people. Speaking of some more people, can I build houses? Whew. That is pricey. I'm going to take my time on that one so I don't bankrupt, just so it doesn't mess with any of my production chains. Oh, 
Oh, I have three total. That's what it's telling me. Well, we've got this study. So mining. Generate. Ooh. But we don't have books yet. If I remember right, those sell really well, though. What are we doing on our actual book production? Probably poorly. Let's double check. And I should probably just stop soon. Build a couple of those. Ugh, gosh. Yeah, that. My people problems are slightly. a slight issue here. At least I'll run out of that a little slower. Study production capacity? Sure, we'll get those. Cotton harvesting speed? Sure. Eventually I will get these to be stable. It's just going to take an inordinate amount of time, effort, and resources. At least it feels like things are scaling up. I could... I could... Build those foresters, actually. They're a little on the expensive side. Oh, skill gain speed. So well, that's probably going to be really expensive. Eh, it's not that bad, actually. What am I burning all of my money into? Probably a building. Those extra foresters. Okay. So we'll put one into the apple trees. I'd prefer not to run out of anything. That'll let me scale it back up again. I mean, we could just sit here. Because this will also drastically increase my harvester's capabilities. And we're up to level 11. Yeah. We might make it. Losing all of those extra star points has been a little harsh. Ooh, I missed. I need more of those, but the quest to get them after this point is... uh. Hard? It's not great. But at least I can regain that. My grain cultivation is stupid fast. And what else do we have? What else can I do? I mean, I guess I might as well grab the forester cultivation while we're here. There. So now we are not running out of wood at all. We need more in terms of actual harvesting, but I just don't I don't have the people. I think that's going to be where the prestige points come in come in handy. Like for the most part if I want to progress at this point, my best bet, oh gosh, I am going to need so many harvesters. My best bet at this moment is mostly just to Let's see. I guess I might as well be making one of those general knowledge tomes, but they're not that worth it. There's books. Okay, how are we doing on paper? Not as good as I was hoping I would. Oh, we don't need that many refined planks, I don't think. And we're also hard locked on water, boy. Well, buildings. We never did build the reservoirs, did we? It's because we don't know how to make them. Sure. Is that really 16 minutes to re do the research? Oh, gosh. All right. Yeah, I think at this point, we really do have to convert this game over to being idle. Luckily, after a certain point, it's not so bad because I can uh, I can have multiple towns going simultaneously. And as long as I keep them somewhat stable, we don't have to push too hard. I guess I should be selling these. No reason that not to. And my goal at this point would really just to be be to scale everything up to the point where this whole town can kind of exist on its own without being touched so I can just go focus on other places. You know, come back at a later date and then say like, oh yeah, you know, I've got like a bunch of prestige points and a ton of EXP and money. Let's spend it on stuff. 
and upgrade this up and just bounce from one town and location to the next. Because once I do that, it should be a lot easier to go along. We're just bottlenecked until we hit level 12, and I just don't think we're going to get that on this video. It's fine. I'll, I don't know, I'd like to bring back in incremental soup, because I can start mixing in a little bit of incrolution, mixing in a little bit of realm grinder again. Uh, probably not Orb of Creation, though. That game is actually too active. In a very good way. For now, though, I guess I should mention once again that uh, Factory Town Idol is available on Steam. Uh, in early access, it is not done yet. I don't know what is necessarily left to bring this game to like full completion. But it's also five bucks. It's a ridiculously low price, and I'm hoping... I guess I can actually just check this now, not that it matters. Whoa, okay. Makes the whole thing scuff out a little bit. Is there a sale for Factory Town at the moment? Yes, there is. Uh, so Factory Town, the base game that this is originally based on, uh, is eight bucks. So if you want to play a much more like active town builder automation game uh, that exists and it's really good and it has a lot of, honestly, it's very similar to this. Uh, it's just much more tactile as you are building things up. I actually kind of wish in the background it was simulating your town building up, uh, but it also has a lot of like, well, logistics. I should probably do that. I guess I don't need to be making nearly as many of these general knowledge tomes as I thought. Yeah, let's speed this up a little bit. Because what does logistics get me? Research, advertising, automatic assignment, laboratory, shoot, and aqueduct. Yeah, those might actually be massive in terms of convenience factor here. That's... what else can I afford? Practically nothing. That's a problem. My income my income is good, but everything else is still locking me in a bit. We could go for the crop harvesting speed. We could go for the crafting speed. I'm gonna go for the crafting speed. Which is going to make everything worse. But it means that so many of my other byproducts are at least going to be in a stabler place. We just have to worry about my uh, starter resources. Do I want to just slowly build some more farms? I think I have to. I don't think I have a choice. They're just kind of expensive. Can I afford another one of those? I've got plenty of planks. Yeah, I got plenty of both of these. Cost me a pretty penny as far as my coinage goes, too. That's another thing I haven't really acknowledged. Should probably build a couple of quarries. There we go. Really? We're still running out of those. News to me. At least we're not running out of land. Okay, that's a positive again. Yeah, so I think we'll just build as many farms as we can. Oh. It also does not help when we run out of water. Alright, one way or another, I should probably stop. Otherwise, I'm just going to be uh, too hooked on this and I will never quit, and that is a bit of an issue. So for now at least, I guess, uh, let's let's at least balance my cotton so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Hey, we're no longer running out of any of those, in fact. And then eventually I'll get the prestige upgrade, so that goes faster too. Uh, skill gain speed. Yeah. I like some of those other ones, but skill gain speed is massively helpful. So really, at this point, we just need more houses. The wild part is houses aren't even that expensive. All things considered. So yeah, let's go up to 30. And finish these off. So, I guess if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, I've got so many more to show you. I am also immediately just being like, oh, but what do I do? Research economics, like, 
oversupply of food items by 10%. Like, oh no, this is going to become a problem. Boost harvest speed by 5% for tho those things. Automatically harvest water by one. Building art aqueduct. Uh, oh. Oh, that's... That's that's where the limitations were. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I have to do this. Oh, never mind. They're going to take like 16 minutes to finish. Never mind. I ain't got time for that. I guess I'll see you guys on the next episode. Next episode. I'll see you guys when I get around to doing some incremental soup for this game. Uh, but that might take a little bit as, boy, I've got a lot of other games to get through in the meantime. But I'll, I'll sneak this in whenever I can. Uh, especially if I start doing some more Twitch streams. I don't know. We'll figure it out. For now, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. I really cannot tear myself away.